Yeah. All right, here's our lemonade stand. It's graduation day. <laughs> We are the Falkland family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. It's summer celebration day. I'm way too excited. I'm supposed to be sunshine today. So we're being sunshine today. Kids are finishing up breakfast um, I just finished getting together all the things on my little dining room table which is basically like my mom headquarters <laughs> today we are celebrating another uh, and wrapping up another year of homeschool and life and I love this little celebration day we have done this from the very beginning and this year is gonna be no different um, we do have a few other things to get squared away Cameron and I are gonna be working on just kind of like cleaning up his maker space a little bit. Kendall has um, a guitar lesson to finish up today and Savannah is finishing up her Osmo summer camp um, that she's gonna be working on. We're making the gourmet lemonade so Brian actually got the fruit all out and together for Kendall. A simple syrup for him to use in his lemonades and just doing all the things, friends. All the things to bring a little extra sunshine into this summer celebration, so. So I think we're all set. I love this little dining table. This is like my headquarters. <laughs> and basically whenever we have some type of celebration, I just kind of lay everything out so I can get an idea for what we're going to do. This is the stack of um, book club books for the boys book club for Take Back the Block. He's, they're gonna be reading it with um, some of their neighborhood friends. So that's gonna be fun and part of our little celebration. We blew up at least some of the balloons to get started, but it's so exciting because it's looking really lemonade-ish and I love that. Um, I did get out some games for us to set up on the table and play. I just grabbed all of our lemonade looking games. So I've got honeycombs, I've got beekeeper, I've got uh, our giant deck of cards, our bananagrams are back there. And then this one is new for us. This is another um, letter tile type of game. So I'm I'm excited to try and play that today. Lemon lights going on here. A graduation fit for Savannah this time. So each year, I feel like I have one less baby that's all dressed up in their graduation gear, but that's okay. Um, so Savannah is going to be wearing her graduation outfit and then the boys will just have on like coordinating outfits. I've got our little sign that says, you're my home and my adventure. And Cameron, came, Cameron is gonna be coming up with what he wants to put on this sign to go in front of the lemonade stand. This came in a little Osmo kit, so then we picked this up for him to make his gourmet lemonades with. I've got some lemonade straws, candy. Kids picked out the yellow ones to use as a little treat, a little extra treat and decoration for our stand. And then I got this cute lemon banner, so that's gonna go in front of our stand. I'm gonna use these letters to put a new saying or quote there. We've got a little bit of lemons here that Kendall's gonna be making his gourmet lemonades. Yeah, and then I just printed these out. Every year I try to give them um, a certificate of achievement um, for moving on to the next grade. So I've got Cameron's. This time I laminated them. I kinda shoulda done that all along, but I drew up these little lemon awards and I've got Cam's, I've got my bears, Kendall Bear, and I've got Savannah's. So I'm excited to give these to them to go along with mommy's little speech that I give them every year, letting them know how incredibly blessed I feel to be their mommy and their teacher. So 
yeah this is what we have going on this morning we're gonna spread it all out in the backyard and have a little fun um today with our lemonade stand to keep things going with this summer and sunshine celebration situation like water balloons yeah it's gonna be fun so what is a summer celebration without a little sidewalk chalk so if you guys have not noticed this about me um just kind of shopping my own things and finding like new and creative ways to just kind of add a few things to make it kind of different and special and then just going with what we already have. So that's kind of a theme around here and I think a big um, key to creativity is to uh, think outside the box and do a lot with what you have already. So anyway, I'm gonna throw this into the mix. Some summer chalk art. My little dining room headquarters <laughs> for our lemonade stand slash summer celebration. After a little celebration, I'll probably sit down and just chat a little bit about you know how I'm feeling about wrapping up this year coming off of 2020 and moving into 2021 but basically to sum it all up I feel like 2020 gave us lemons and in 2021 we are making gourmet lemonade thank you to our friends over at Osmo for sponsoring today's video we are gonna get into a little bit of Enchanted World Games and Pizza Co with Savannah finishing up her summer camp for the day and yeah let's get into this here celebration this so friends we would love it if you played along a little bit join in and watching this vlog with the family chime in and share a little bit of their accomplishments coming off of this school year um, the projects that they've gotten into the things they've made their way through like yes let this be a whole family celebration um, I hope you enjoy this with us as we celebrate another year of homeschool and life. A rare sighting. This is not a rare sighting. <laughs> I'm always around. Are you excited for the day? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good time. The kids are excited. So. <laughs> My parents are coming over. They're gonna play. I'm sure Serena has a whole slew of activities. And um, I'm gonna dip out at some point. Brian, I'm gonna that's- Run to the store and you know, I'll be back. That's how you wanna represent your best dad life? <laughs> Brian's always trying to dip out on the celebrations and come in on the end, but that's okay. He's an integral part in this Falco family, so we're gonna make sure that he sticks around. What did you come up with? Let's lose you lemons, make lemonade. Cam's made our sign to go on the stand and it's perfection because 2020 was a bowl full of lemons. 2021 we're making what? Lemonade. Lemonade. Oh, hi. I'm just finishing up on to Enchanted Book Games. Going to have everyone's order finished. That would be three so I could do two animals. Get it, girl. Yeah. I'm the star. You're the star. <laughs> so she just has um, Pizza Co. to finish up and Enchanted World Games. And then Daddy is popping some popcorn. Kendall is finishing up his guitar lesson. And Cameron is just sorting through his makerspace a little bit, trying to tidy up because that is part of a good engineer's design system. So, so I'm almost done with camp because I am finishing wrapping pizza co up, and then I'm going to move back to Enchanted Fruit Games, and I'm going to help the juice team. I would like to. <laughs> what, what is the wait, juice wait, team? Wait, wait, wait! I would like to hear your choice. What sport do I do on the juice team? Do I do soccer or baseball? That's all I've unlocked. <laughs> okay, what about soccer? Okay, let's twist this up so they can. And yes, she is responsible for cleaning up. So, if you saw my typical tutorial in the last video, you'll know how to play this. If you're having trouble, that was a tutorial just for me. They also have the instructions. And how to play. If you look below main menu, the home button, then you can see how to play. Go ahead and press that. Start with a cheese pizza. If you press pause while you're solving, and it shows you how to play. 
So you press that. Oh, nice. Make sure the pizza is perfect by paying attention to the customer's reaction. That's what I do. But that is not the happiest the customer can get. The happiest is when the emote has star eyes and Ooh. the mouth open. Yes. <laughs> like that. Give your customers exact change. They can sense that and then they change it to not the exact same. Imagine ten dollars and seven dollars. That would be three, so you would do two and one or one one one. But one 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 would be giving them more money, like more dollar bills. So the best way to do that, if they had a three dollar bill, then you could just use the three dollar bill that would make one. That would be the best choice. <laughs> but since they don't have a three dollar bill, you can just do two and one instead of one one one. You want the least amount of change. Oh, they have one. Decorate your restaurant. See, you can decorate it, and that's not what I have been doing. There's so much to explore. <laughs> In Osmo Pizza Co. Now we're moving on to Math Whistle. Um, you can go ahead and move this over because this is part of Enchanted War Game, but it's like on another game, but it's still Enchanted War Games. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need a blender and all these ingredients. This right here, as you can see, it's a jam. Then it will go to whatever number you need to make that juice. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play soccer. It's really fun. Once you feed them, then you can play. And then if you go here, then you'll see a uh, baseball. I've got to that trophy. I am. Like I said earlier, I am just loading. You can go ahead and press this near the play button what? if you want to customize anything. They have different sorts. That's mine. That's a mermaid skill one. And I just had a mermaid birthday. <laughs> Very, very mad. Triple cherry, very, very mad. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's on? I have to get 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 6, 9. That's 9. Three of 13 of the fruits. Yeah, so this one comes off. You can't do that. You can't do that. Did we make it? Yeah. Extra oh lemony God. lime very berry blitz. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of lime. It is. Cherry extra lemony lime very berry aroma. <laughs> kick it, kick it. Yes. She blocked it. Let's do it, let's do it. Kick it. One, two, three, four, five. I need can only go to a number up to five. Savannah. Yeah. It's lemonade time. <gasps> <laughs> Savannah, you are so full of joy. My sunshine. Okay, so she's getting ready to wrap this up, clean it up, and we're going to make popcorn and lemonade. Yes, see? That. It's the powers of the gem. Got it. Lemonade. Getting ready to get started with the festivities. Cameron's in his room, I think, cleaning up his maker space. What's going on? Cleaning. Cleaning. So Cameron is very particular about his maker space wall. How you got it set up? What do we got, Cam? Batteries? Walk me through this. Batteries, electronics, magnets, like magnet tape. Okay. This this space isn't sorted out yet. I only have these three sorted out. And I'm not satisfied with these. This might be a display for the things I've already made that can fit up here. Like this. These. Your prototype. Can I see this? Yeah, so. I just never put anything on the inside. These are these might be like some Yeezys. Alright. See, I can display it right here. Perfect. Okay. My rubber bands are here. I found a bunch under the sink. I do have a project I'm working on right now. This over it on each side. 
you can hold them and spin like a wheel. So, Kendall's been taking some online guitar lessons. So, um, he got this guitar for Christmas, and he's been enjoying it. I think, I think instrument might be Kendall's thing. So, are you getting a hang of where your fingers should be on the frets? Mm -hmm. Let me see your fingers on the frets. So, what fret is that? This is fret three. Okay. Okay. up guitar lesson and then we're gonna move on to some lemonade all right here's our lemonade stand it's super cute and we're gonna take it out <laughs> it's graduation day <laughs> let's go get the popcorn now we're heading out moving the stuff outside and seeing where we can put everything of course Savannah is <laughs> trying to get her register and everything together and see if we can get the balloons out there. It should be fun. So, I think I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, you look cute! Look, look. Yes. Look. Okay. So, so she's I'll got get, her I'm register. Go you don't really need to scan lemonade. You can just, I'm just gonna do the, oh, let me take the temperature. Oh, she's checking temperatures, you guys. <laughs> yes, you're standing behind. You need an actual chair, so cute. Yeah, I am too tall. Our water balloons are all ready for action. Just to look like red then. We're gonna have to write original Blue and belly, blueberry. Blue. Strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, orange mango. See the ladies back there. They're getting together um, our lemonade stand. Mango or orange, something like that, I'm not okay. sure. So they're inside finishing this up. The ladies are getting all of the aesthetic and that all of the, so with cute. the stand together now. And um, I guess we have to buy some lemonade. The chef what came over. Lemonade and then <laughs> showing the flavor. Go for it. So far, I have this much. So, how much lemon juice is one lemon making? Well, this is a third of a cup. So I'd say that this is half of a fourth. Blueberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, final lemon. <laughs> Poked it in a bit too much. This. That looks good, Kendall. Thank you. Hi, Chef Kendall. Okay, so we just finished up the pricing. We got our sign done. Original nominate is 25 cents. Blueberry lemonade is 50 cents, and strawberry, I mean, not and. Strawberry, <laughs> strawberry lemonade is 55 cents, and orange mango, which is two flavors, is together. Together? 75, 75 cents. How does that sound? Sounds good. Chef Ken's gourmet lemonade. <laughs> Hold on. 
it. She's taking temperatures. <laughs> okay. what, you what are you ordering? She has her set up right here. How is it? That's really good. Say who's <laughs> next, Amanda. Party <laughs> Kendall, which one is your favorite? Orange mango. Next. Which one are you gonna try, Brian? I'm gonna get the strawberry. Blueberry. I eat the food. Spin, are you drinking on the job? <laughs> I'm about to go our friends um our books for our book club? Yeah. Take back the block. <laughs> Bye. First of G John. <laughs> I can bring it to you now. Like, oh, friends. <laughs> okay, we are all done with our summer celebration, and it was such a hit. I'm so nice and tired, and the kids have headed off with their grandparents for the night um, to continue their celebration, which is amazing because that gives me um, a little bit of time to go ahead and clean up and uh, try to organize as much as I can um, before we go to get them tomorrow. So um, it was such a good little celebration and everything kind of fell into place. Um, and I really just don't like to let um, a year go by without wrapping it up with um, just a little bit of fun to let them know how grateful I am for them to be their mom and their teacher and uh, for another year of us getting to do this homeschool and life thing together so um, they love their certificates uh, we had popcorn had a lot of fun with the lemonade stand let me just say okay that Kendall's specialty lemonades were amazing <laughs> Like they were so good. I feel like the mango, orange mango lemonade was my favorite. And the blueberry lemonade was good and the strawberry lemonade was good. And I kind of sort of wish he had gotten a chance to make the watermelon lemonade, but um, maybe next time. They were actually so good. That was a lot of fun seeing him get to operate in his element. Was super glad that Nana and Pop-Up were able to come and spend um, the day with us. Cameron got to go and give out some of his book club books to his friends for them to get started with that. Played in the sprinklers and with uh, water balloons and it was just fun. This year, what do I want to say about this year? I feel like every year is full of learning more and more about them, who they are, what they love to do, helping them grow in their gifts, helping them to explore more of what they are interested in and curious about. And that is just always the goal around here. I'm actually incredibly excited about wrapping up the year and heading in to the next year. We have some very like 
innovative type of homeschool plans for the next year some very creative out of the box but like what's different like that's always the goal with <laughs> us and the Falco family so I'm really excited about um, getting to that and watching that unfold we're going to be cleaning through our homeschool spaces and reimagining all the things and setting out our plans for the coming year and I will be sharing those things here in our friends club space over on our blog just all the things trying to document as much as possible of this homeschool journey of ours homeschool and life journey of ours so thank you guys for being a part of our story for being a part of our homeschool and lives and yeah i can't wait for all that we will continue to do together um, with our babies watching them grow and learn and doing the same with them so let's do that friends i hope you enjoyed our little summer celebration thank you again to osmo for sponsoring this video we have really enjoyed working with osmo and have been loving her little summer um her summer camp uh that's been a lot of fun too so yeah you guys as you can tell i am tired and i am so ready to get everything kind of cleaned all the way up and get myself kind of settled in for the night i love to read i just can't wait to kind of cozy up on the couch with a blanket and a pillow and watch a little something and read a little something and just have a little bit of quiet time before I get my babies back tomorrow. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed following along on this video. Um, enjoy being a part of our summer celebration. Again, chime in and let us know like all the things, um, all the good, warm and fuzzy feelings that you have about everything that your babies have accomplished or your big kids have accomplished um, through this year, turning the lemons of 2020 into lemonade here in 2021. So yeah, you know, I'll get rambly and that is not the goal, <laughs> but uh, you guys know the deal. Life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe!